healers. There are so many awesome healers in the world. Like in, in, I don't know, in Thailand, in North Africa, in South America, people travel all over the world to go to these awesome healers that do these awesome healings. And I think how, how great is that, that we have people that do this, that, that give this service to the world, that we can go there and, and experience healing. At the same time, I know that most of us carry this healing gene within themselves. Like as mothers, you always have this ability to heal your children. Maybe not from cancer, but in a way, just by loving them and supporting him, you heal so much of, or so many of their wounds, or so many of their traumas, that you are a healer. When you feel loving and empathetic towards someone, and they talk to you about their pain, and you just allow your love to flow, and just give them support in whichever way they can, you can, you help them heal. You're the healer. I think we all have this ability in us. There are different ways of, obviously, that we choose to live this. Some of us are trained, like doctors and naturopaths and acupuncturists, and, and I don't know what all of these typical healing professions, nurses and so on. Some of us are trained in very different professions, like energy healing, hands-on healing, Reiki, um, black flowers, whatever, whatever you can think of, all of these energy healing techniques, they're also energy healing, they're also healings, so you're also a trained healer if you've learned to use these. Um, and then there are the people, I think, that are just natural healers, that a word or a touch just heals you because they are so connected with the divine, with God, in the energy that is there provided for a person that they just heal without even saying anything about being a healer. And I think finding this path of what is right for you is the harder part. What do I want? Okay, I'm happy being a healer, okay? Or maybe you're not happy being a healer. Maybe you don't want to be called a healer. Maybe you would love to heal with energy. Maybe you would love to heal as a doctor or a nurse. So finding this path or this title that is right for you um, or for me or for whoever, that's, I think, the hardest part. For the longest time, I said, I, I have nothing to do with healing. And then, and then people will look at me like, what do you mean? Like, well, I don't do any specific healing techniques. Yes, I learned many healing techniques in my you know, all, all of the classes I took and all of the trainings, but I would never specifically say I'm a healer. I am just who I am. Healing is part of it, yes, because I do know, of course, know techniques and I can connect with the energy and I can give you what you need, but I am not per se what I would call a healer. And then people would say, okay, so how are you not a healer? Like, okay, maybe I have to rethink this whole image that I have in my head of a healer. Meaning, somebody has an illness, comes to you, you heal them, you're the healer. But that's really not what we do. I think most of us, what we do is we listen, we acknowledge, we try to walk a path of understanding illness with the patient, with the client, and then we give the client a tool to deal with this illness, to deal with this energy. And I think this part of understanding of what it means to be a healer, that's the part for me that is the core. It's not about a technique I learn. It's not about a tool I have. It's not about a title somebody gives me. But it's about understanding that we can tune in to a person, to their problems, and that we can find a, a way to show them a path to walk and maybe give them a tool to support this walk on this healing path.